but nobody think no one thinks logic anymore nobody know how to think for themselves anymore everybody needs somebody to think for them that's how this clown was able to make so much money doing consultation when he when y'all didn't even need to go get consultation from these dudes what's going on youtube this is one and only travel time with paul make sure you like and subscribe share this video now uh i want to give a mini monologue now i know i put on my community post that i was going on uh doomed in thailand aka travel ho g live yesterday but first of all what y'all got to understand this dude he's got my number i've met this guy two or three times in person i texted this guy uh back and forth months ago when i was in thailand if he had an issue with what i was doing he could have reached out to me. I didn't know it was a problem with him. But this man could have easily just called me like grown men do. But now, nah, what, what, what is it he does, guys? And then he calls me a clout chaser. He calls me the Charleston White of, of, this, uh, this, this, of the travel content. The 50 Cent. He, refer he made the 50 Cent reference when 50 Cent was trying to get his foot in the rap game. He made a song, How to Rob This and Other Rappers, to try to get clout off of their name since they was already established artists. Guys. Go look at all my videos and tell me how many videos have I mentioned any other YouTuber name besides uh, Black Man Tricking, a.k.a. BMT. I mentioned him, but never did I diss him. All I said was, if you guys want to see good content about Thailand, go watch BMT now. Now the gloves is off. I dare any other one of you content creators in Thailand come at me sideways like this uh, Tricky Mac dude just did. It won't be nice for none of you. It's going to be ugly. And let me, ask you, let me ask you Black YouTubers in Thailand a question. Well, let me not say Thailand, Pattaya, Pattaya, Thailand. Why the hell are all y'all crammed up in one little bitty city trying to get content? It's like every time y'all have a yacht party or pool party, all the same damn YouTubers go to the same party with the same washed up whores there. What's that about? Everybody got their cameras out getting the content from different angles. Hey, let me know in the comment section. Does that make any sense to y'all? Biggest Thailand is y'all can't just spread out and move around. You can't have another black YouTuber in Shanghai. Mai. You can't have another YouTuber in Bangkok. You can't have another YouTuber in uh, Phuket. First of all, why so many in one damn country? But that ain't my business though, I guess, huh? But the fans won't tell y'all. The people in the comment section don't want, don't want to tell y'all that. But I'm going to be the voice for them. We tired of seeing y'all tired ass, whack ass content with them old, washed up, recycled, Thai women from 2011 has been messing with black American men since 2011 in y'all videos. Every time you look at a yacht party video, what you see? That same Thai chicks you saw in the pool party video from somebody else's channel. Every time y'all do a yacht party, it's never brand new Thai women there. Then you got guys that ain't ever been to Thailand. They think the women that y'all showing off are attractive. That tell me everything I need to know about you guys why you having problems in the matrix if y'all think that. Because when y'all get to Thailand, y'all gonna really see the, the, the women in Thailand versus the ones that these guys put in their video are straight up bottom feeding trash yeah i said it see i ain't got to make no video slandering y'all because what i speak is the truth and i got receipts and it can be verified all throughout the internet and youtube see tri uh, tricky mac aka uh doom in thailand when that guy uh magnesia came on your channel and cooked you like a good old porterhouse steak you didn't have no words for him all you can say all you can say is 20 percent of what he's saying was the truth nah you lying. 20% of what you've been saying all these years has been the truth. Probably less than that. You've been lying to these guys to get consultation money all these years, but now it's time for that shit to come to an end. And if they want to be dumb enough to keep giving, paying you two to $300 for some damn information they could get for free through all throughout the internet. First of all, they don't even need no consultation to even come to Thailand. If you keep saying Thailand is one of the safest countries to visit, then why the hell they need a consultation from your ass? All they got to do is get on get online and look for the best hotel deals or the best Airbnb deals and, and, and do their own research from looking at other YouTubers. You got you got white YouTubers out here saying the same thing I'm saying. They've been saying it way before me, but worse. Uh, what, What's the YouTuber called? Uh, Thailand with Dan or something like that. Y'all go check them out. But y'all don't hear that Doom and Thailand character coming at him and he shit up. Oh, and let me tell y'all something else. Y'all want to know how all this got started? Because I never mentioned this clown name. When I talked to him on the phone yesterday, when I talked to him on the phone yesterday, he said he really didn't have an issue with me. His only problem, I was shitting on his city. Yo city, Negro, last time I checked, you ain't even a citizen of Thailand, so how the hell is Pattaya your damn city? Boy, you got some nerve. They can kick you out any damn time they feel like it. Don't you know that? I know you've been there long enough to know that shit, right? Yo city. Also, a red light district where it is known for tricking and hoeing, that's the city you're gonna represent now. 
but you the same fella want guys to pay you consultations that tell you where to go find good Thai women when you ain't got a good damn Thai woman your damn self. That, that's like a that's like a single woman trying to give advice to a, a married woman on how to maintain a healthy relationship with her husband. That's what you come off as. You a fucking fraud. Y'all said it. You phony, bro. You, like I said, you could have been contacting me, but then people gonna think, cause you older, I'm disrespecting you. First of all, you was in the wrong. You was the one acting immature. You old enough to be my father. You 30 years older than me. And now I ain't making this video to slander you. It's to get this off my chest. I'm bending right now, cause it's fucked up what you did and you know it. Now, about the young lady you had in your video, I never knew you guys even knew each other. Uh, You even went as far as made a video with this woman in it. Y'all check it out. It's one of the ladies I used as my thumbnail. I had no idea Tricky Mac, AKA Travel Whole OG even knew that woman. But see, he said himself for, for that. Now I know he don't mind people knowing that he's a certified trick and a well-known trick. Cause you know guys in his generation thinking, think tricking is okay when it's really not. And y'all need to stop all that shit talking about uh, it's tricking. It's tricking no matter how you look at it. Man, nah. If, you're, if you don't have to pay a woman to be around you and she really enjoy being around you, then you decide you want to take her out shopping and take her out to eat or something like that, that is not tricking. That's taking care of your woman, a woman that cherishes you, that you love. Y'all love each other. Y'all got a mutual understanding versus a transaction relationship with most of you YouTube, Nick Rose, and Patsy I got. Y'all got them women on payrolls and y'all got these dudes out here thinking y'all with traditional women. Then you had the nerve to tell, uh, the, you had the nerve to tell a dude on your live last night you got you a good damn woman. Boy, stop lying, because if everybody really knew, knew the truth, that woman ain't just working no regular massage parlor. And even if she did, anybody know that's been in Pattaya, no, even at the regular massage parlors, them women get down and dirt, they get down and uh, dirty. They will do something strange for a piece of change. Yes, they will. So, all that, I dare you to get a woman out of the matrix and, could, and uh, put her up to mines, Negro. I can go find a woman out of North Memphis, which is the wretchedest part of the town, or I can go get a woman out of Seattle or in, in Houston, Texas, uh, from TSU or educated woman of any background that would make your damn woman look like D.L. Hughley. You round here acting like you got you a winner or a star. Man, that woman look like a praying mantis. No offense to her, but since you took it there, she can catch this straight. You, you all could get this smoke as far as I'm concerned. Now, you can make all the videos you want about me. Like I said, you called me out. You should have left me alone. You don't know who you messing with. What you don't know about me, I make real money outside of YouTube. I don't need YouTube to make money. I don't need to do no consultations uh, for guys to go to Thailand. They don't need to be paying none of y'all no money for a consultation. They just need to stop being lazy and do their own damn research and they will be all right. The money they paying y'all, if they could, all they doing is paying you, all, all they doing is paying you money to, to tell them how to go up, come to Pasi out and be a trick, how to trick the right way. That's all they doing. They don't need to pay you for that because you sure ain't pointing them to the right direction on where to go find a good traditional woman because you ain't got one. And I know why you ain't got one because they wouldn't touch you with an 80 foot pole. And it ain't just you, it's most tourists. I keep telling y'all that this guy is an oil salesman. He's a fraud, man. He's from the south side of Chicago. That's what they do. They scammers, they scheme. That's how they get their money. Chicago got some of the biggest damn scammers around and he's a prime example. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else too. Travel Ho G is also a prime example of why you shouldn't bring your heart to Pattaya or Pattaya. Y'all know why? Because he's with a woman named L while taking L's. Uh, this woman has been ran through like a 1997 pack of Newports from a from a bodego and on the south on, in South Bronx some damn where. But you got the audacity to try to make it seem like I'm lying and I'm making up stories. Then this dude came on and exposed you. Showing that you don't know, you don't really know a damn thing about Thai culture. You don't even speak the language. How you know that woman you with ain't talking about you like a dog on how she misuses you financially to her family every damn day. And then you with a single mother, but then you and all them other old head, dusty, gray haired clowns will be the same guy talking about women in the mentions ain't no good. All they do is mess with pookies and ray rays when all y'all are are retired pookies and ray rays y'all damn self. Yes, y'all carry that pookie and ray ray behavior, but then y'all got the audacity to talk about pookies and ray rays. And the reason y'all keep talking about women in the matrix, why you supposed to be living in a whole nother damn country, thousands of miles away from the matrix, but yet the matrix is still on your damn mind. You know why you can't get your mind off the matrix? Cause subconsciously, deep down, you still want a woman from the matrix. But the reason you so mad at them because they don't want your corny ass. Nick Rowe, you more corny than a Missouri cornfield and, and a, a Minnesota cornfield put together, you lame. All you had to do was leave me alone, boy. Keep my name about your mouth because I don't like going back and forth with other black men. I don't like going back and forth with YouTubers. I don't like drama. All I was doing was giving guys the right instructions because without the right instruction, you would be on a self-destruction on how to move if they get to uh, Pattaya. 
And then you got a lot of guys, they wanted your help. They was willing to pay your shady ass a consultation on pointing them in the right direction on where to find a good woman at. But if you was really a sincere guy in your consultation, you would have told these guys the truth. Thai women really don't prefer darker men. They don't even like Indian guys. They don't like dark Thai men. And that guy explained all this on your live last night. If you had left the live up, which I know why you didn't leave it up, because he made you look like a damn jackass we already knew you were, a lot of guys would have been able to go to his channel and hear him word for word how he broke down, how the families in Esau sent their daughters off to the major cities like Pat Pattaya and uh, Nana Plaza and Bangkok to get money from suckers like you and the rest of you old heads that was on the panel and send it back to their family. That's what they do. It's, it's, that's like they form a section eight. Only different is the government not, is not taking care of them. They got foreigners coming over, spending all the money that they made, they hard earned money that they made in their country, Australia, the USA, Canada, Great Britain, and, and uh, taking care of these women while these women taking their money, sending it back to the family. But see, you don't ever tell guys this, you lying, talking about some, you tell them, them the cons, now nah, you tell them bits and pieces, cause you know it's gonna mess up your bottom line. And why, what, what's the real reason you mad at me? Oh, because you felt like I was, I was starting to mess with your bottom line with them, them unnecessary consultations. And you told me yesterday on the phone, a lot of guys was reaching out to you, calling you a fraud, saying what you were saying wasn't real. Let me tell you something, my guy, they were telling the truth. Cause if they watch my videos and they watch other YouTubers, uh, Thailand with Dan, and it's a couple of more I can't think of their name off top, but they do their own research, then they do their research online, they gonna know you a fraud. Why? Let me ask you this. For you to be giving out consultation, why ain't you married to that woman you with? I know why you not, but why ain't you married to her, huh? Come on with a lame excuse. You probably mentioned before why ain't you married to her, but it's a lie. None of these YouTubers y'all see are married with the women they with, you know why? Cause the women that they're with are tricks. The women that they're with are well-known pros. Who the hell in they right mind? Only a degenerate will retire we retire in a place like Pattaya. A man that's really looking for a solid Asian woman wouldn't even step foot in Pattaya or whatever. I told you I came to uh, Pattaya, and I also told you did, I told you yesterday on the phone, you did help inspire me, but you wasn't the number one reason I came to Thailand. You Kermit the Frog, Frog Guy, Fish Shot, Buffalo, Lil Bastard, you. I told you, I, I knew about Thailand before you even existed. I probably knew about Thailand before you even stepped foot in the country. But when I ran across your video uh, a couple of years ago, that just put the icing on the cake. Then I reached out to my uncle and I told my uncle, when I come to Thailand, I want to go to Bangkok. I do not want to come to Pattaya because Pattaya is a well-known red light district. My uncle, nah, man, nephew, I need you to be here with me. My health, I have bad health, and you the only family that would be in the country with me, so I'm gonna need you to be here to support me. That's why I came to Pattaya. So uh, I know you want to feel like you're the reason a lot of these guys coming to Thailand. Man, it was a lot of dudes coming to Thailand way before you way before we even knew you existed and then you said the og the veterans that's been living in thailand for 20 30 years that's retired from the military was mad at you because you blew up the spot damn right i would be mad at your ass too you blew up their paradise and then not, not only that you blew up the spot for your damn self because now you got guy you got guys coming over and drove they coming at your woman now and the guys coming over there so shady they ain't just coming at your woman they, they was coming at austin woman they coming at all these guys that got girlfriends but I noticed they was coming at your woman heavy though. You got on YouTube, you needed a YouTube paycheck so damn bad, you didn't realize you was shooting your own self in the foot by Thailand, this is paradise, it's this utopia. Come on over here, you can find a traditional woman. You ain't got to worry about being in the mansion no more. Not knowing you was bringing trouble to your front door too. Boy, do you have a brain at all? Yeah, I know you tried to be all condescending on your live last night when it first started and tried to sign me, but look who got son. Why you take the live down? Then you said you was gonna put it in your Patreon. Put it up. Let them see. Let let them really see you get exposed, guys. If y'all ever see that live, I want y'all go and that, go watch that live with an open mind. Do not be biased. Watch it, and and then you gonna really see the fraud this dude really is. He's only out for money. He don't care what happened to you in Thailand. That man just want a dollar. You can get stabbed. Anything can happen. One of these women can poison you, or uh, put anything can happen to you. You think dude give a damn? As long as he got paid, he's good. Cause he's a Chicago Negro. I know how they think. That's where he from. It's all about the dollar. I've never asked you guys for a dime. I lived in Thailand for six months. And no, uh, that YouTuber BMT said a, 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 a freelancer must have broke my heart. Nah, partner, didn't know freelancer break my heart. You know what broke my heart the most though? You lying ass YouTubers. Richie Mac said, I mean, Tricky Mac said it last night. You still can find a good woman. You still can find a good woman and Pattaya. He said that last night if y'all go watch the live. That's why I keep making the videos. Guys, don't bring your heart to Pattaya. Cause you got clowns with a large following like him saying you can find a good woman in Pattaya. No the hell you can't. 
That'd be the equivalent of me saying you can find a good woman on South Beach and Las Vegas or in the damn in, in Magic City somewhere in ATL. Everybody know women come to Pattaya to make money by any means necessary because they don't make enough working on them jobs like uh, selling condos, doing all that shit. They'll sell condos in the daytime and at night you can catch them walking up and down Walker Street or on Ty Friendly some damn world or on Tender and Bumble looking for customers. Why you lying? Why you lying to these dudes? I'm warning y'all now because I'm really trying to look out for y'all. Save your money. It's hard times in America right now and money is getting harder and harder to come by. You do not need to be wasting money on no bullshit, on no bullshit consultation. Some shit y'all could have got for free. I know you guys got a mind of your own and got a brain. You use what God gave you and utilize it proper and do your own research. Y'all don't need another man who can't even speak the native language to give y'all no damn consultation on how to maneuver around Thailand when this dude didn't even know anything about the Isan, uh, Isan language. Like if, if a woman from Isan, they speak Thai, but it's kind of different. They call, they, it's, they call it Isan and, and the culture is damn near a little different too. Anybody will tell you the worst women to deal with are from Isan. They crazy, they deranged, and when they come to these major cities, a lot of them be doped up out of their mind. And when they work, and when they working in a lot of these bars, they drink so damn much you can go to any local hospital and, and see one suffering from alcohol poison. Cause you gotta think, if a woman working in one of them bars on Soy Six, and thirteen customers them came and bought, bought her a drink, and she drinking all them drinks, how the hell is she living a healthy lifestyle? When y'all think she need a new liver in two to three years? It's the dumbest shit ever. But then you got these old heads they didn't have what it take. They socially awkward, so they didn't they didn't know how to communicate with the women in the matrix. And then tricking, tricking got too expensive. Tricking got way expensive for them in the matrix. So now they went to the Dollar General of where you can buy peace leave, known as Thailand, and they tricking over there. And 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 they want to say, oh man, Paul, you broke, you a pookie. All throughout the conversation, they kept calling me a pookie. Listen here, partner. I may wear my hat like a pookie. Sometimes I may speak like a so-called pookie, and I may dress like one. But I, I'm not no damn pookie. But you know who are the pookies? You guys. You be you be projecting, cause you scared that so-called pookies gonna start coming from America and start taking the 304s that y'all mess with in these other countries. That's why y'all ran y'all ass up out of the matrix, cause y'all couldn't get the 304s back home, cause the pookies dominated that shit, and they held more mess than how to do this to this town. Dude old enough to be my damn father. He around my father age or whatever. But now, nah, instead of him being a grown ass man, reaching out to me, telling me, man, I don't like what you're doing. You sitting on Thailand, chill out. He went about this the wrong damn way. Now that woman in that thumbnail picture, did, didn't nobody know a damn thing about her. But you just confirmed that she was a well-known trick because everybody know that's a freelancer that knows her. Now, I never said anything about that woman. I told you on the phone. Any woman I used on my thumbnails, I wasn't slandering them and, I, and the topic wasn't even about them. But then you know what you tell me in return? Well, that's clickbait. Don't you do the same damn thing? You use Thai women in your damn thumbnail too. And then when you watch the video, the Thai women you have on your thumbnail don't even be in the video. So you sound like a hypocrite if you ask me, partner. Use a damn hypocrite. But then you want to come at me, and I know you guys been talking behind closed doors. I even heard what y'all said about Austin, uh, which y'all don't think I know. Yeah, y'all been talking mad shit about the youngster. And that dude in Columbia, border crossing, that old burnt hazelnut looking dude in Columbia. Boy, you don't want this smoke either. You honey baked ham looking bass at you. I saw what you said in the comment section. You gave this dude a 20,000, whatever uh, Columbia uh, currency is, peso, whatever the hell it is. Don't let him off easy. I never had no smoke with you either, dude. But if you want some smoke, then you can get this smoke because you already look like you've been smoked back in Detroit or whatever. But you can get some more of this smoke. You welcome to get some, buddy. Now, I never asked for any issue with you guys, but I'm not afraid. I, I'm not afraid of no damn beef. We can do this. Because doing the Thailand, you know damn well if I was still over there, you wouldn't be coming the way you coming. It's like once you found out I wasn't in the country no more, you came on that live really arrogant. But then you got humble real fast when that dude educated, educated you and everybody else on what's really going on in Thailand. It, anybody with an ounce of sense know, first of all, Asian people don't like black people in general. That's worldwide. Look what's going on right here in the Matrix. They pass an Asian hate bill with the propaganda that black people was attacking them when it really wasn't just us attacking them. It, I saw a lot of videos of more white men attacking them during the pandemic than anybody else, but they passed a uh, hate bill saying we was the main ones attacking them or whatever. And then whenever they get a story in our community, uh, a weave store, any type of store, you can't even shop in peace without them following you around. Motherfucker, if you that damn uncomfortable thinking somebody gonna steal something, why do you even get the story in the black community? Uh, you can't get the story in your own community or in the white community? But nobody think, no one thinks logic anymore. Nobody know how to think for themselves anymore. Everybody needs somebody to think for them. That's how this clown was able to make so much money doing consultation when he, when y'all didn't even need to go get consultation from this dude. 
uh, I'm gonna clarify something else too that uh my home that the homie said on the live. He said, behind them smiles and Pattaya and these other cities, when it went when the women be like, so did he car. If y'all know how to read people well and y'all took up psychology, you can look in they you the, the eyes is the window to the soul. If you look in their eyes long enough, you can tell them women are miserable as hell. They very miserable. He was right about that. And they always and they always intoxicated on some type of alcohol or narcotics. Them women are miserable. And then when they smile at you and they say, so did he car. That's not a good thing because they really don't like your ass. They showing fake hospitality. But then you can't tell this clown doing in Thailand that. Oh, and another thing I want to uh, talk about what uh, the guy said on the live. He mentioned something about the, the women that was catty and some of doing and some of doing in Thailand videos. How they can be bought for fifteen hundred baht? He's telling the truth, guys. Everybody, every woman can be bought. Even whether they working at a currency exchange, whether they working at a bank, whether they working at the airport, everybody can be bought. But then. When he asked Doom in Thailand about that, for a dude that's been there for three years, he tried to act dumbfounded and play like he ain't know what he was talking about. Uh, well, I, I don't know they business like that. Man, you probably don't bought him a few times your damn self. We see how we we see how your behavior has been in these uh, latest videos you've been uploading. You've been coming off like a creep. We already know you're a degenerate pervert anyway because you moved to Pattaya. But you've been coming off like a creep lately in these videos with your camera all up and down the woman's backside making perverted remarks. Then when you walking all throughout your house, you act like you ain't used to the woman you got. Look at those legs. Look at them. Them legs thick. They big. Man, what's wrong with you? Do you got any self-respect or respect respect for the woman you with? Use a damn clown. But if I didn't cover everything in this video, I'll cover it in the next video. Now, I don't want to even have to make no more videos about none of these dudes. I just wish they would stop talking about me. And I'm going to stay in my lane and y'all stay in y'all lane. If guys want to continue to buy consultation from you, cool. That's their business. Leave me alone. Do your thing. And pretend like I don't exist, cause I'm gonna pretend like you don't. I'm gonna pretend like you don't exist. But you come at me again, I'm gonna expose a lot of what I know has been going on when you was in the matrix the last couple of weeks. So you better keep my damn name up out your mouth, dude. And if you ever think about coming at me again, you better wake up and apologize, cause I never even wanted to do this, but you asked for it. But I digress. And until then, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Deuces, clown ass dude.